Pop, 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 persuable. What's going on, Popos? Oh my god. Let's get naked. What? Okay. So, I, I'm, I'm realizing that I'm slowly getting to that age. You know, I'm 30 years old where I gotta, like, I can't say stupid shit like that anymore. Because, like, it's weird. When you're, like, 20 years old, you can say whatever shit you want. And you're, like, whatever. And now you're 30. And, like, I feel like whenever I respond to somebody on Twitter, I got to, like, do a background check on these motherfuckers to make sure. <laughs> but, oh, my God. Yeah, you told the 18-year-old to go fuck off. And it's like, well, apparently their parents didn't do a good enough job about it because they're fucking trolling me. All right. Anyways. So, <laughs> this is a legendary rank mode match. Um, and I'm going to show you. How one fuck up, like, completely ruins the match for me, right? There's things that I can do better, you know, that's always a theoretical thing. There's always things that you can do better. But it shows you, I feel like I play pretty dominant in this match, right? You, and there's no lizard player, there's no Lucino main that will tell you you're going to always hit your jumps. It, it's just not a thing. It's like, uh, it, so if you ever come across a lizard player, right, a Lucino who acts like they hit all their jumps. It's like that dude that goes to the bar and brags about how many women he sleeps with. It's like, yeah, you probably don't really get that many because you got to talk about it, right? You got to compensate. And so, you know, there's going to be things in this match where you're like, oh, I would have done this. I would have done that. Fuck off. When <laughs> I know aggressive. I know I'm super aggressive right now. I get that. Choke me, daddy. Wait, what? But the point is, <laughs> this fucking video is a disaster. The point, though, is that you're never going to play perfect 100% of the time. It's a chess match. Sometimes you play the right move. Sometimes you don't. But I feel like I play a pretty good match. But I'm going to show you how one fuck up can change the game from a win to a tie or from a tie to a win. And, and this is why it could be frustrating to play Hunter sometimes. Now, I already know what you're going to say. I already know like half of you want to shit on me right now, right? Because let's be real. There's have anyone has anyone seen that movie? What, what was it? Not another teen movie where that girl likes to take shits on people's chest, right? It's like a just weird shit fetish. It, that kind of exists on social media right now. Everybody wants to shit on everybody. So we all know that Hunter, this is a Hunter sided game. Okay, we know that, but that doesn't mean that all hunters are created equal. So you got to be careful about that, right? Because when you say all oh, hunt, you know it's a hunter side of game. You got to remember that there's a you know people still learning how to play hunter, and we also have to remember that in regards to hunter, not all hunters are the same. So playing as Lucino is significantly more difficult than playing violinist and playing um, uh, many of those uh, hunters, right? Uh, yeah. So, anyways, I do one choice. <laughs> And I'm going to show you why it's stressful to play Hunter uh, in this game. For sure, I'm going to show you why it's super stressful to play Hunter. And uh, I make one bad judgment call, man. One fucking bad judgment call. And yeah, maybe I shouldn't have got stunned in the beginning of the game. Okay, whatever. Uh, but it is what it is. And it's fucking difficult playing Lizard, man. And I hope you all watch this gameplay and you're like, hey, he's not playing that bad. I feel like I hit some pretty good fucking... Look at this. Look at this. Oh, bada bing, bada boom, a lot of things I got to do. And when I clean my room, I use a motherfucking broom, right? <laughs> the, the next song to call me the Merc. I have another song almost finished, by the way. I'm just too fucking lazy to finish it. Get this thing called ADHD, where it like takes me really long to finish projects, right? Wish my sex life was like the same, but it's not. Just kidding. Don't have one. Dari, I miss you. I haven't seen you since January. Fuck COVID. All right, I'm not going to lie. I actually had to delete the next joke. <laughs> that shit would have got me demonetized from YouTube. <laughs> Y'all know in like over 300 videos on YouTube, 400, whatever the fuck I got, I have never openly admitted about having to fucking delete a joke. <laughs> so I know I'm going too far. Anyways, this is my fuck up right here. So that sucked, but whatever. And I thought that if I hit the lawyer, right... I would have had enough time, but I wasn't expecting the fucking lawyer to have Tide Turner. So, I don't know what the fuck that is, but whatever, it's a thing, right? Because you should be able to avoid hunters in the beginning of the match. I totally get that. That's such a fucking gamble, though, having that. Anyways, yep. So, now this is going to be... Oh, my God. So, I really thought... That I would have had enough time to hit this motherfucker in the face and then 
jump in order it just shows you why it's stressful being a hunter one bad judgment call is a pretty good match i should have just tried to use my ability but then i would have had to absolutely hit him twice before getting to the rocket chair i don't know why i didn't do it sometimes that works if you're really really far away but i forgot that lawyer has veteran bonus ladies and gentlemen so that was my mistake was not remembering that lawyer has veteran bonus. So when you hit the fucking prick, he he fucking dashes, all right, super fast, and he was able to get to the rocket chair. I forgot about that. I forgot about the veteran bonus. So because I didn't, so for most survivors, I can usually hit them far away like that, and then just use my jump. I don't even necessarily need to jump and then ground attack. I can just jump to get to the rocket chair and then hit them and cut them off. But I forgot about the fucking veteran bonus. So then I ended up tying the damn match. I felt like I played pretty good, right? I know some of you I'm not going to satisfy, right? This is just the fucking, the, the nature of YouTube, right? We all watch videos and we're like, oh, I could have done better. By all means, you probably could have. I'm not a fucking pro at, at Lucino. But man, oh my God, dude. I... Man, that was one of those matches where I just had to leave post chat before I write some stupid shit. You'll ever get like that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not perfect, right? I know some of you, I, guys, you guys know me. I try to be completely honest on YouTube. I fucking lose my shit all the time when I lose. So something like that, a match like that, I'm like, man, fuck that. Yo, I'm leaving a damn match. I ain't obligated to write anything in play. <laughs> Write some stupid shit like, oh, you're like, I wanted to write, who the fuck carries Ty Turner as a lawyer? But, I, you know, I get it. I understand the, 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 the strategy behind it. Now, if you're watching this match, I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I had to have a decent match where I like do something with my life. <laughs> I'm not playing that bad with Lucino. Uh, I, I really do enjoy him. You know, one of the discussions that happens, um, you know, here's the thing with Lucino you really have to play mind games as a hunter I still think that Lucino is one of those hunters that takes uh the most amount of skill in regards to mind games I think that there's other hunters that require a lot of skill as well but I mean on a high caliber level and I'm not suggesting that I'm on that high caliber level yet or that I ever will be, right? I just, you know, I'm just showing you some legendary rank mode gameplay, or at least the first match, right? And the thing is, is that with him, right, there, there's a lot of hunters that require a lot of skill. I feel like Mad Eyes takes an incredible amount of skill. I feel like Dream Witch, I think a lot of people on our server, NAEU, are intimidated. But once you get Dream Witch down, you do a pretty good job. You know, it's just about getting familiar with the controls. Whereas Lucino is all about, like, I'm in your face. Everything is about a chess match in terms of tight cutting, right? Your skill, like, when you jump up and you decide to land. Like, as an example, in high tier, if you throw a pallet down, I have to make a choice. Do I take the pallet down right away? It depends on the pallet, right, and your location. It also depends on your survivor and if you have stuns. Do I jump up in the air and immediately come down? I'm not talking about... Using my skill, my area of effect attack. I'm talking about that early game strategy where you jump up and you can immediately come down. Do you do it on the same side of the pallet and hope that they vault? And then you can hit them. Sometimes you can terror shock them. Or do you jump on the other side of the pallet and immediately land down? We're talking early game. Um, if you guys aren't aware of what I'm talking about, early game with Lucino early game before you unlock your area of effect attack you can actually when you jump up in the air you can hit that button the button actually turns to a different fucking logo and you can immediately fall down right you don't do any damage but you can immediately fall down right so if you ever do a bad jump you can cancel it mid-air and fall down so with Lucino, it, it, it's like the biggest chess match right like you have like certain hunters who are like that but it's hard with Lucino. And so, this is my video. First match. All I do is fuck up the whole not accounting for the veteran bonus. Second match is me being a YouTuber. Accounting for my lack of ego. 
<laughs> my lack of game. Almost like I have to validate my existence by throwing in some good gameplay. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I love you. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.